Okay, it is that time. Welcome everybody to this evening's event. Again, my name is Don Kaufman. I'm going to be your host and trader this evening. I love how somebody just chatted in over there. It's 8.01 Eastern Time. Uh, I am a stickler for time over here. Uh, again, kind of grew up in a family of traders, so time, timing is, uh, is everything. So <clears throat> let's go ahead, let's jump into it a little bit tonight. Uh, give you a a uh, quick introduction and then we'll go ahead and get rolling again <clears throat> if you guys can hear me by all means uh, chat in looks like everybody is good right now got quite a number of people on this evening we're going to try to answer as many questions as we possibly can throughout the course of the evening <clears throat> uh, try to predominantly not get too caught up in too many questions we're going to reserve those for uh, predominantly the end of uh, tonight's session so <clears throat> Let it go ahead and kick it off. So volatility is coming. Learn to survive and thrive. Brought to you by Theo Trade. <clears throat> Risk disclosures. We are not financial advisors or a broker dealer. The reason I throw that up there is because, uh, well, I don't know if you guys are, are aware, and I'm kind of curious about this, but uh, how many people have, uh, have either met me before <clears throat> or heard me do some type of a, a presentation? My name is Don Kaufman. I'm the co-founder here at Theo Trade. Um, so again, kind of kind of curious, how many of you guys, again, joining us tonight have become familiar with me over the years? So, uh, yep, both met and heard, yep, I think or swim. Wow, it's actually a huge number of people over there. Fantastic. So dozens of times. Uh, again, we're going to keep this, you know, a little basic to begin with, and we're going to work into the extremes. I'd like to give a brief introduction and then just jump to it. Okay, if you've never met me before, uh, my name again is Don Kaufman, as I said, the co-founder of Theo Trade, and uh, I've been trading since the, uh, since the late 90s. I actually come from a family of traders over there. In just a few years after I started trading, in about 2000, I was invited into a startup brokerage firm. At the time, that firm was called Thinkorswim. So uh, I resided there from 2000, 2007. Think or Swim was actually uh, purchased for over $600 million. Uh, thereafter, Think or Swim okay, was then subsequently purchased by TD Ameritrade. I actually resided at TD Ameritrade as well for an additional five years. I ran uh, the education group. I was actually a director okay, of the trader group inside of TD Ameritrade there and ran the education for ultimately a $20 billion company, which of course is TD Ameritrade. So that's just a little background, uh, you know, regarding me, where I kind of come from. I've been out of the financial broker dealer world now for just over a year. This is actually me. Yeah, I did the CNBC tour over there. I call this Don versus Mr. Wonderful. So they pitted me against, uh, yeah, that's that's right. I mean, I, I can only call him Mr. Wonderful over here. So <clears throat> I just threw this in here the other day and I said, it's not about winning or losing. It's about me being right and Mr. Wonderful being wrong. And if you guys have ever heard me before, you'll know that that couldn't be further from the truth. I'm not, I'm not big about direction of the markets over here. So uh, I was and have been short Apple though for a substantial amount of time. This particular CNBC appearance was, uh, was back in uh, early November uh, when they pitted me against, of course, uh, Mr. Wonderful over there. He was long, I was the short. Only issue is he tended to agree with me the entire session. So it uh, didn't work out exactly the way I thought. It doesn't matter. I was short Apple from uh, the $130 mark into the mid-90s until I covered. So with that, let's give you guys uh, a little background here. Uh, one of the questions that always comes up now is, who is Theotrade? And Theotrade is a market education firm based in Scottsdale, Arizona. Why Scottsdale? Well, first of all, I have uh, resided in Scottsdale kind of full-time since about 2007. I, I was back and forth to Chicago for many, many years. But, um, you know, why is it in Scottsdale? You know, that's actually, I love it. Somebody goes, why is it in Scottsdale? Uh, have you been to Chicago this time of the year? So I, I worked in Chicago for many years. And, you know, when you're working in Chicago, you go to work, it's dark. You come home, it's dark. So uh, it made sense for me. Uh, so Scottsdale, I got a lot of family out here as well. They were all former traders. I come from a family of traders. So ultimately, who is Theo Trade? Well, we help traders and investors become kind of winners in the market over there. So while I was at TD Ameritrade, uh, I used to do trading classes for fund managers. I used to do trading classes for 
you know, regular, you know, retail uh, clients over there. But for a pretty vast period of time, I did trading classes for fund managers with over $100 million, okay, under management. And that was the bar set to get into one of my classes and the consulting fees <clears throat> that these firms, these registered investment advisors, the consulting fees these guys were paying us ran into the tens of thousands of dollars. So what we do at Theotrade is bring that style of education to the masses. And at Theotrade, you know, we teach monthly classes, we offer, you know, a live trading room, daily coaching sessions, and trade ideas for subscribers to be more successful in the marketplace over there. And one of the things that I, I always kind of discuss, you know, is learn from others' mistakes. So again, what we teach at Theotrade used to take traders years to learn and tens of thousands of dollars trying to figure out what works. I mean, many of you guys have been through a huge portion of that kind of learning curve, right? You try a little of this, cost you a couple of grand here, a couple of grand there. What I'm trying to do when I say learn from others' mistakes, <clears throat> so after 15 years in the brokerage industry, and I've looked at hundreds of thousands of accounts. I don't know, look directly at the accounts. You run all kinds of research on those accounts. You know, when you're, when you're the director of education there, the accessibility you have to client accounts is unparalleled. And the research we had was unparalleled. And what it comes down to is, you know, I've seen what works and what doesn't, and that, that's what we're trying to do over here. So <clears throat> what doesn't though, when I say what doesn't, what doesn't work gets, you know, it just gets repeated over and over again. You know, watching, watching people's order flow. When I say watching order flow, it's watching people trade. And you know, when you work at a major brokerage firm, you get to watch other people trade. You know, watching people's order flow, it's, it's watching a bad movie because you kind of know how it's, it's going to end. And I consider, I really consider trading, you know, building complete trading recipes. And that's, that's what we do at Theotrade. And when I say that is, you know, you think about baking a cake. You know, you, can you bake a cake with out a recipe? And the answer is, well, yeah, you probably could bake a cake without a recipe, but you've also done it a few thousand times, right? <clears throat> you know, or a few hundred times before you actually know what you're doing. So what we've ultimately put together here at Theotrade is we build complete trading recipes, you know, from A to Z, no matter what style of trader. And I like to throw that in right up front. If you're listening tonight, whether you trade stocks, whether you trade options, whether you trade futures, <clears throat> you know, we cater to you. I mean, that's what we build trading recipes for. So, you know, the question really kind of is, do you want to learn what consistently works over time? Okay. Now, one thing I want to be really, really clear here tonight. So trading, investing, <clears throat> what we teach here at Theotrade, this is not instant coffee or instant tea. And I feel like, you know, <clears throat> again, outside of, uh, of TD Ameritrade and Vigorsum, I feel like that is what everybody wants and what everybody expects these days is just give me the instant coffee, the instant tea, man, the, the perfect recipe. Give me, give me the chart system that's going to work. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, <clears throat> bottom line, you have to be willing to put forth some effort to learn this trading business. You know, anything worth doing is going to take some degree of time. You got to decide, you know, are you willing to put forth that effort? Okay, uh, you know, I'm only talking a few hours a week over here. You don't have to sit in front of a screen vegging out all day. I do, but you don't have to do that. So, you know, you've got to dedicate a few hours per week to learning. So stop watching Netflix for a few hours and, and tune into Theotrade. Again, you have to make that commitment. And uh, for most of you, I assume you're here tonight because, you know, you're committed to learning this business. And that's kind of what drives me a little bit. So what does it really cost to become a trader? Now, uh, Traders used to learn this business on the floor, and whether you guys are aware of it or not, right, the floor is, is all but gone, but that's, that's where, you know, I learned from. I learned from traders on the floor. I learned from being in Chicago, but this is where most of us here at Theotrade learn. So, but Chicago, you know, and standing in a pit, and there is still the pit, and this particular pit is the SPX pit, okay? This is back in the day. This is like the most violent of all the pits over there. And if you know anything about Chicago, Chicago, the trading pit, it is far from what we call a gentleman's market. So Chicago pit, when I say it ain't fun or it's not pretty, I mean, I've seen people legitimately push each other, stomp at each other's feet, you know, legitimately bite each other. Okay. You would know, everybody would know the name of somebody 
Okay, if I mentioned him, that bit another trader on the floor, he was a strange one. Uh, people spit on each other. It's disgusting over there, but neither here nor there. The bottom line is, you know, some of the traders that you stood next to, it cost them, okay, over a million dollars in learning and bad trades. Okay, and that's where we want to try to circumnavigate, obviously, at Theotrade. So Theotrade, it's not only designed to cut your learning curve, to cut the cost of learning. And based on what, you know, we knew from the trading floor was really good. But the vast amount of what I learned is not only through my own trading experiences, but it's the experiences, again, of hundreds of thousands of clients. You realize TD Ameritrade, 7 million clients, okay? Some pretty good research to do there in terms of trades. So, you know, when, when you look at this, we want to cut the cost of the learning curve. You guys want to learn this for less, okay? Of course, you know, everybody wants to, to learn to trade for a lot less than going out there and spending, you know, trial and error on trades over there. So let's get into some education, starting with what I call kind of the myths of the market. And I always think this is like a great starting place. So uh, one of the my favorite things to kind of discuss in the markets is before we start really getting into some very detailed trading examples, which is exactly where we're headed. When I talk about myths of the market, um, the first one I kick off with is options are risky. So, all right, we got it out of the way, right? I said the O word, the O word. What's O word? It's options. Now, some people, they're like, you say options and they're repellent to it, okay? And uh, <laughs> when you mention options over there, so the truth is options were originally designed as risk management tools. I think most people know that by now. Okay, but I'm not here to tell you that you need to trade options. I'm here to tell you options, okay, can be utilized as risk management tools. But whether you trade stocks, whether you trade options, whether you trade futures, in the end, every one of these products, you can pretty much buy it or you can sell it. And the way that I think of, of options, one of the best analogies over there is you go out and you want to build a house, okay? I mean... Oh, wow. What the heck does an option have to do with a house? You go out, you want to build a, you know, a house. What's the best way to frame a house? You're going to go out there and use a handsaw and cut every single two by four by hand? Or would it be more reasonable, more logical to probably use a power saw? Okay. And everybody's like, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, right? You'd rather use the power saw because the power saw is going to be the quickest, you know, the fastest, okay? the easiest way to obviously frame out that house. However, if you do not know how to use a power saw, what could you possibly do? You're probably going to lop off a couple of fingers with that thing, graze yourself at the very least over there. And it's, it's really the exact same thing with options. So number two over here, you know, why do people lose money trading options? Well, somebody has to lose, okay? The bottom line is, though, they don't know what options to trade. So I like to, to deviate once in a while, okay? When I say, oh, they don't know what to options to trade, let's look at an option chain over here. Okay, I am deviating just a little bit. Yeah, it's the thinkorswim trading application. You don't have to have it, but I just want to show you one of the things that's such a daunting task. You know, this is why people come to Theotrade to find out what the right options are to trade. Okay, if you take a look at something like Amazon, and Amazon, there's there's a three day option, a ten day option, a seventeen day option. Have you ever opened up an option chain in here? Whether you've traded options or not, okay, this will scare the heck out of anybody because you're scrolling through here and look how many options there are, how many in the money, how to the out of the money. You realize just in April, there's a few hundred options. Net, net, there are thousands of different options to trade over here. Ultimate question, what options give you the highest probability for success? Okay, number three over here, and by the way, the highest probability of success, that's exactly what we're gonna discuss. I am into probabilities in trading, and I think most people that have ever heard me speak, okay, uh, will recognize that. Somebody asked me too, is did you say seven million or seventy million clients with TD Ameritrade? It's seven million clients with TD Ameritrade, twenty billion dollar uh, firm, and I headed up uh, part of what we call the Active Trader for five years. Number three over here, the safest way to trade options is against an underlying, okay or another option. Don't trade naked. Now, this is kind of the reality, if you will. That's the safest way to trade options is against another underlying, another option. Don't trade naked. That means don't buy options naked. Don't sell options naked. Now, people come from all walks of life over here, but 
if you learn how to trade options the way we teach at Theo Trade, options, they're not risky, okay? We call, we call all of the individuals that join us for our educational venue, we call them Theo Traders. So Theo Traders use options to minimize risk over here. And going out there and buying calls and just hoping we go up or hoping we go down, that's not what we do, okay? Next, myth number two, you need a lot of money to trade. So smaller accounts can succeed. One of my kind of like mantras over here, and I've said this, and if you've ever heard me speak, you've heard me say this before, but trade small and stay small. So an account with $2,000 can be viable with the correct strategies employed. So, and don't worry about margin rules. And people always ask, what about margin? I'm restricted in what I can do. Don't you worry about a thing over there. Now, not a lot of people that go out on a limb will say that, but don't worry about it. After 15 years in the brokerage business, pretty sure I can help you with uh, not only understanding the margin rules, but what I call circumnavigating the margin rules over there. So, But allow me to be clear. You can trade with $2,000, but if you don't know okay, what you're doing, you're going to lose that two grand. Okay, So many at Theo Trade, they trade with small accounts and build the accounts following our risk-averse strategies. And I'm very, again, I like to always enunciate that I'm very, very risk-averse over here. So myth number three. Oh, this is a funny one, okay? You don't want to trade in volatile markets. My career has been made in volatile markets. So if you're afraid of volatile markets because you don't know what to do. So we're going to teach you how to trade in volatile markets. You know, do not fear volatility. Learn to embrace the horror, all right? You know, again, the uglier things get, the better it is over there. Learn to love volatility because you're going to make your biggest returns in volatile markets. And, you know, here's one of the many Theo traders who succeeded in the recent volatility. And we threw this up here because, you know, uh, Stan sent us uh, kind of a, you know, a little blurb, an email, if you will, back in February. He said, you know, last year I lost over $40,000 following advice from others. You know, since subscribing to Theo Trade, you know, I've made that back plus more thanks to your coaching. And Stan just, you know, attended some coaching sessions over there. We got him on the right side, obviously, of volatility, but, you know, what do you think it's worth to look over my shoulder, you know, while I'm trading? So uh, this is, again, when I say, what do you think it's worth to look over my shoulder, I kind of mean it. Um, this, is, uh, this is my account. This is something I show each and every day uh, at TheoTrade, and I'll kind of highlight something. Um, this is, okay, and does have, uh, again, the beginning of the year. This is just the month. Of January so I isolated just the month of January because that's Stan ultimately sent to something February you know 24th but he was actually referencing okay in January and that's uh, P&L year-to-date in January there's not a huge amount of uh, capital in this account I never kept more than three hundred thousand dollars of operating cash inside of this particular account over there but that's the kind of stuff that we we share like you can see the number of trades I've done every order okay, that I placed out there it's all ultimately in uh, and part, obviously, of Theo Trade over there. So uh, that's, again, it's why Theo Traders kind of succeed in the volatility. But you need to know, okay, where the market is going in order to make money. I mean, that's, but uh, that's one of the biggest myths, again. And now we're on myth number four over here. I, again, I, I strongly suggest, this is where you want to tune in. If you're trying to pick market direction or rely on timing the market, it's the quickest way to mount losses in markets. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't have to know okay, market direction in here. And again, in a few minutes, I'll show you how to rely less on direction and more on probabilities because you can employ what are termed non-directional trading strategies over there. So there's many, many professionals, okay, option traders okay, and alike that generate consistent returns without having a directional bias. So again, you need to like just rely less on direction and more on probabilities. And I just, I cannot stress this enough because it's an area that people continually go, you know, awry. Myth number five. Oh, here's another one. The worst thing in the market is a losing trade. The worst thing in the market's not a losing trade. It's consistently having losing trades and losing money because you did not know what to do. Okay. Can you lose money in markets? Yes. All right? Can markets be risky? Sure, absolutely. You know, again, I've spent years looking at accounts and, and seeing what works and what does not. Okay? Do you know 
what is the most important investment that you can make in the markets, okay? I mean, what was it for somebody like Stan over there? It's getting the right education. So right now, let's get into it. Let's start educating you. We're gonna jump through a number of different strategies over here, and again, if you're, if you're new to some of this, bear with me. We're gonna, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna get a little bit extreme as we go. So rather than make a bunch of like PowerPoints over here, I'm going for it. I'm just going to do it a little bit freehand. And this is, I think, one of the best ways that you can learn kind of this business is not just by somebody that's been in it, but off specific examples. And I'll even take questions during some of these specific examples. So if you've never seen one of these little guys before, what is this? Okay. And I ask questions, by the way, feel free, interact. Okay. We got Q&A going over here. I can talk. I can read. I like it. So what is this? It's a bell-shaped curve. What do you do with a bell-shaped curve? The bell-shaped curve, the best way that I can describe bell-shaped curve, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the marketplace. Now, if you've never seen a bell-shaped curve, there's a lot of different ways you can describe this. And one of the, one of the best analogies I can think of, of, of like why a bell-shaped curve, some of you are like, that's how I got through school. Were you at the low end of the curve or the high end of the curve? That was a question. Okay. The bell-shaped curve, the one way I like to kind of describe it is I always think about whatever city I go to, and I have flown all over the world, right? Whatever city I go to, you know, there's really, really good drivers up here, and there's really, really bad drivers down here. But most of us fit into what we term the meat of the curve, okay? The meat of the curve. By the way, if everybody is a bad driver, because every city I go to, every city I've ever been to, people go, <gasps> It sucks. Everybody's a terrible driver here. And the, the truth is, if everybody's a terrible driver, then the really bad drivers are still really, really bad. And most of you that are terrible drivers, well, then you fit into the meat of the curve. And then there's a couple of good ones. But when I say the meat of the curve, the average in here is approximately 68% of all occurrences. Now, that's what we call one standard deviation. Don't let the 68% scare you. All it basically is, is if you looked, okay, at a thousand people, so a thousand drivers, you know, this distribution curve is going to form, regardless of what you may think. There's going to be some good drivers in that thousand, some mediocre drivers, and some, <clears throat> you know, New York. Actually, people in New York are pretty good drivers. You'd have to be to get into that mess. So uh, I had to pick on you guys. So it's a distribution curve. Now, why do I show a distribution curve? Blank the screen once again. Why do I show a distribution curve? because it's the market. Let's talk a little bit about money here and talk a little bit about the market. Give you a couple other analogies. We could say that this is a stock, okay? And that stock is trading right smack at 100. What stock is it? It's Apple, all right? <laughs> Forget that I was short Apple, but it's something like Apple. Well, let me explain a little bit about the basics of options. Now, you know, for years, I guess the best analogy for an option is think of an insurance policy. So many of you, you either own a home, which has to have insurance on it, unless of course you own the house in cash, okay? So you own a home and you probably have insurance on it. What's insurance? Well, here's a $100 stock, okay? That insurance could be something out here, for instance, we'll call it a 90 put. Now you may have no idea what, what options are, but a 90 put, it gives you the right to sell this stock, which is a $100 stock, at 90, okay? It's the same thing as if you owned, let's say, a $100,000 house, okay? There's not too many $100,000 houses out there, but bear with me, you get the example. It's a $100,000 house, and you own insurance, okay, at $90,000. Now, here's the interesting question. You go out and you buy insurance again and again and again and again. You just pay premium and pay premium, pay premium. How often have you used that insurance? Has anybody used the insurance? Sure, once in a while you're like, there was a leak, there was a flood, there was this, there was that, but it's rare, okay? You know, we have a couple of hundred people on tonight and, and nobody's like, yes, I've used the insurance on my home, okay? Predominantly, what's the insurance for? It's for catastrophes over there, but every year you go out there and you start paying a buck for it and you pay another buck and you pay another buck and you pay another buck. Before you know it, okay, it has seriously added up, okay? Unless, of course, you live in Florida, in which case I cannot help you. <laughs> and by the way, neither can the insurance companies. But, you know, these insurance premiums seriously 
add up over time. And you think of the thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, if you were thinking about insurance, and this, this is the viable question over here, you know, and let's talk a little bit more about making money. If you're going to be, okay, and you're thinking about insurance, what would you rather be? Would you rather be the person buying the policy or the person selling the policy? Okay, think about life insurance too. Life insurance is the same thing. You're like, I've never used my life insurance. Clearly, because you're alive. Now, it depends on the life insurance. But if you, if you think about life insurance, you've just been paying into that thing, paying into a thing. By the way, you're never going to get to see yourself use it. I know, it's brutal, but whatever, kind of morbid. But when you go back here and you pay a buck and you pay a buck and you pay a buck, you got to decide what side of that coin you want to be on. So <clears throat> whenever I think of like options to explain them, I think of insurance policies and I don't necessarily like to be a buyer of options. A huge amount okay, of what I discuss is selling options, but it doesn't always mean you have to sell options. Again, if you look at something like a 90 put, okay, and what a 90 put does, you're buying the right to sell the stock at 90. What is it doing? So here's this $100 stock, and this $100 stock just comes cruising down one day. Okay, what does a 90 put allow you to do? It allows you to sell your stock, the stock that you own, okay, at 90, and it is effectively your insurance policy. However, with a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of research, you'll find out, okay, that you can actually sell these 90 puts. What does that mean? Okay, selling the 90 put. Well, you then kind of become the insurance company. Sure, this $100 stock, this $100 stock might be able to go down to 70, but you've been selling and selling and selling and selling, and these premiums, people, they add up. Now, okay, I'm going to back away from that example. Blink the screen once again, all right? I love to do a little bit of like, you know, the insurance, but let's get into something I think that's much more applicable and much more real for what people are doing right here right now and here's again a stock trading at a hundred why because it's a very convenient number so you're trading a stock at a hundred and you go out there okay and you look and say well all right right here right now this is hundred dollar stock you guys tell me what's the probability let's say that this stock goes up or down you guys tell me Okay, we're going to make this an interactive session. They're not rhetorical questions. Jump in here, okay, at any time. So 50-50, I love it. A lot of people are 50-50, 50-50, 50-50. So no matter what you do, okay, and people are like, well, by the way, like somebody said 100%. You're right, there is a 100% chance it's going to go up or down. But there's about 50-50 probability, if you will, okay, of going up or down really in the next day or two. But then you ask yourself a question, what's the chance of the stock getting all the way to 105? Hmm? Anybody, 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 what's the, what's the probability of this stock getting all the way to 105? Because now, forget about what you've learned classically in the markets as direction. You know, because some, some people are like, well, I don't know. When I say classically in the markets, what you learn about direction, everything that people are bombarded with every single day. Okay, every single day, everybody's like, well, which way is the, is the market going to go? What's, what's it going to do? Where's it going to go? Okay, here's the bottom line. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't always matter. You have to have the right strategies and the right logic. Here, this is about logic. The 105, okay, the chances of getting to 105, well, it's a 50-50 shot of going up or down. The chances of getting to 105, okay, are probably right around 30%. There's about a 30% chance. Now, I can show you exactly probabilities depending upon which underlying it is, but here there's about a 30% probability of just getting to 105, okay? Now, when you go out, if you buy the stock and you need the stock at 105, okay, let's just talk about stock for a second. You need the stock at 105. What happens if somebody came to you and said, uh, excuse me, okay, madame or sir, you only have a 30% chance of the stock getting to 105, let's say in the next, 30 days. Do you want to take that chance? You're like, no, that's not a very good probability. Okay. Now let's reset the screen for a second. Now let's actually make this relate to options. So this is what a ton of people do and do wrong in options. They go out there and they look at this hundred dollar stock and then they go out there and they do what's called purchase 
okay, or buy a 105 call. And let's go easy on you. Let's say the 105 call costs you a buck. What's a 105 call give you the right to do? If you've never traded options before, that is A-OK. -okay. A 105 call gives you the right to buy the stock at 105. You have no intention of ever buying this stock, but you now have the right, not the obligation, to buy the stock at 105. Nobody ever actually exercises that right, okay? And that right is good for a whopping 30 days. Now, I already said the probability of getting to 105 was about 30%, but you don't need the stock now at 105. You need the stock at 105 plus an additional dollar. To be able to break even, you need the stock at what? 106. To be able to make some money, now you need the stock at 107. Generally speaking, the probability when you buy a call option, think about this for a second. When you buy a call option, the probability is somewhere in the neighborhood, okay? Probability is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 28% chance of getting your money back. To make decent money on it, you're looking in the neighborhood of 25% probability. The next time somebody says, buy a call, okay? Hey, think about it. When somebody says buy a call, okay, you know best odds, there's a 50-50 shot, okay? But if you're buying an out-of-the-money call, you're looking at about a 30% probability, only about maybe about a 28, 29% chance of getting your money back in that particular trade, and that is brutal, okay? Absolutely brutal over there. So reset the screen once again. Now, now we're having fun over there. So what can you do? Oh, what can you do? So... <clears throat> bear with me here momentarily as I've got so many screens up. What you can ultimately do is you can employ, again, the right strategies, the right tactics. Here's the same $100 stock. There's the 105 call. Now, the 105 call, we're not going to buy it. At this point, we're going to sell it and we're going to sell it for a buck. Now, if you sell that thing for a buck, where do you want the stock to go? You're like, don't go to 105, don't go to 105. But now, you don't have a 30% probability. Now you've got a 70% probability, okay? So right off the bat, you know, people talk about, let's have a high probability trade. Listen, it, it only took me five minutes to teach you what a high probability trade even was, okay? You can't, though, just go out and sell a 105 call because selling a 105 call, it could have a lot of risk. What happens if the stock goes from 100 and goes to what? 120. What if the stock goes from 100 and goes to 150? It can have unlimited upside. But selling a 105 call right off the bat, you have an extremely high probability of making money on this trade. Now, on the flip side of it, and I can, again, you can show anybody how to mitigate risk on this. You don't just sell a 105 call and sell it naked. But from a probability standpoint, think about it. Okay, in this distribution curve, where can the stock go? The stock can go right up here, it can go to 104. It can even go, the stock can go all the way to 105 and you're still okay. You got a break even point in here of 106. And if the stock goes anywhere down here in the curve, you're beautiful. Get why it has such a high probability? It has a high probability because there's a lot of stuff that can happen in the curve that isn't, okay, above 105. Clear the board once again. All right, okay. Oh, somebody's asking about the SPX. Couldn't have asked about a better product over here. So once again, let's go back here and let's look at this $100 product. So now I want to relate this a little bit more to volatility. Because as I said, you know, in today's, today's market, today's theme, this is what you're faced with. You're about to be faced with extreme volatility. Listen to me, like it or not, that's the reality, okay? There's, there's one thing I, I will put a stake in the ground, okay? This isn't just an argument, it's reality. Volatility is coming right now, okay? You just saw a market today, look no further than today. The market went up 20 points today. Why? Because Janet Yellen said that the world, okay, economy is actually worse than they had expected. So it was gonna keep rates low for a substantial period of time. Oh, that sounds good. So. When the market's actually rallying, I mean, look at all the headwinds out there. We're about to come into earnings season. I am telling you, it is coming. Get ready, okay? This is one of the strategies that you'll want to use in a little bit more volatility. So we go out there and we sell, for instance, the 105 call, and we collect, for example, a dollar. and Keep these really easy. Then we turn around and additionally, okay, we sell the 95 put that we talked about earlier. 
okay? Let's say that one's also trading for around a dollar. What do you want in this strategy? Here's the $100 stock. All you need then, okay, is the stock right in this range. What's this range? It's one standard deviation. This range equates to 68% of the time. It only took, okay, again, about seven minutes now, and we've already taught you what people consider this like one of the more complicated strategies in the market. It's an iron condor. I promise it's not that bad. It's an iron condor, okay? It's what an iron condor is. What do you really do? You sell out of the money stuff, options. You sell out of the money options. Then what do you do? You buy other options to hedge the options that you sold. Then what do you do? You have to minimize the risk in it. That's the key to this strategy. You're minimizing risk. You're going to be a-okay out there. All you're doing is selling, okay, and a 68% probability, you know what? You can actually alter iron condors, and you can alter iron condors in, I don't want to get in too much specifics over here, but you can even sell further out on the curve. So you can actually create your trade, okay, with an 85% probability of success and, again, mitigate the risk. But where does volatility come into this? The more volatility there is, okay, the more volatility there happens to be in a marketplace, what happens is this distribution curve, it expands. And people talk about the VIX all the time. They don't even know what the VIX is. The VIX, it's the fear gauge. No, it's not. It's the expansion and contraction of volatility in the S&P 500, okay? The more volatility, it allows you to sell stuff way the heck out here, okay? And the probability of the volatility contracting back is extremely high. So, hence, volatility is undoubtedly, okay, the best time to trade in markets. I mean, that's, that's, again, done a lot of classes over the years about volatility. And I stress to you one more time, volatility is coming out here. Now, last, this one's going to take a little bit more, all right, it's going to be a little bit more taxing on the brain. One thing that I find really effective, okay, right here, right now, and for those of you that have ever heard me do a presentation, I talk a lot about this strategy. Like, you can go right now and you can read a book about what an iron condor is. You can go out there and you can read, you know, a, a book about vertical spreads. You don't even have to buy a book. Just, you can go Google, this is an iron condor. This is a vertical spread. But I'm telling you again, what they do not tell you, and what I've never been able to do before is, when I was in the, in the brokerage business, okay, you're regulated. Being regulated, you can't talk about specifics. So, what I'm now able to do is I'm able to take these trades like iron condors, take these trades like verticals, and give you what the books don't, and that is a specific recipe for entering and exit criteria. Like to say, step number one, sell these options, sell this expiration, okay, use this strike price. That's the key to the trade. Okay, another example over here. And this one, this is something that I've, again, undoubtedly been using more, okay, frequently in the last few years than in any other time in my trading career, and that's this. This is what we call an in-out spread. What an in-out spread does is it takes advantage purely of market oscillation, okay? You can call it volatility, you can call it market oscillation, okay? Here's a $100 stock. Where's that $100 stock gonna go? Just bear with me again for the next 30 days, okay? Where's the stock gonna go for the next 30 days? That is the question. I think we'd all agree. The stock's going to go up and the stock's going to go down. Yes. Now, people have heard of like non-directional trading strategies. Yeah. Well, I'm actually going to do a directional trading strategy, but I'm going to be capable of holding this strategy for the next 30 days. Okay. What I'm going to do is it all out there. Okay. And I'm going to do what's called the 99-101 call spread. And that spread is going to cost me precisely $1. Now, I can show you thousands and thousands of this particular trade, and it will cost you a buck. All the trade does is risks a dollar to be able to make a dollar. And people go, I don't want to risk a dollar to make a dollar. Why? Because I can actually show you that over the next 30 days, okay, the probability of profitability, think about this, the probability of profitability, where do you need this stock to go to be profitable? Above 101. Where do you need to go if the stock's going to, you know, if you're going to take a full loss below 99? But what's the probability that we go to 101, okay, any time in the next 30 days? And the answer is extremely high. These trades can actually have probabilities of 70, okay, 
to 80%. And it doesn't necessarily rely on market direction. It's relying on normal volatility oscillations. But the heavier the volatility is in the marketplace, the better the in-out spread performs. So lately, okay, just the last couple of weeks, we've had a one-way ticket to the upside. But all it took was one down day for bearish trades to work. Okay, clearly we've had bullish trades and we've had bearish trades, okay, but markets move, right, bidirectionally. They move up, they move down over here, and these, what we term in-out spreads, are again, this is the kind of stuff that you want to learn for volatility. Why? Because you're only going to have a bucket risk. You've got to cut exposure and maximize, okay, probability and profit potential over there. And uh, somebody just mentioned, I love it, somebody said, the commissions. Don't you think when I left a major brokerage firm that we cut a deal with a major brokerage firm about transaction costs specifically relating to options? That's something I can discuss a little bit later over here. So I have a, a rate in commissions on several different major broker dealers, not just TD Ameritrade, that we can actually offer you. It's, it's going to be way less expensive, way less expensive than you ever traded stock for. Okay, so options dirt cheap in essence to be able to trade you can go out and you can literally do trades and risk a hundred bucks to be able to make a hundred bucks in there okay what are the commissions going to cost it's probably going to cost you somewhere in the neighborhood of two dollars and fifty cents to do this trade okay to get in to the trade it's going to cost you 250 to get out of the trade it's going to cost you 250 so looking at five dollars what we term round trip in transaction costs over there the key to this though you know commissions add them in over there it's about the probability in these particular trades over here. And that's that's the key. This is not necessarily about direction. So one of my favorite sayings in in trading here is, you know, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Okay. So my wife talks about that stuff all the time and she kind of re reminds me of the uh, the famous phrase, you want to be right or you want to be happy. And um, I'm not I'm not that good applying that to my marriage skills over there, but the logic kind of works beautifully in trading. So at Theo Trade, again, we call, you know, our members Theo Traders. And it, we're not about being right in markets. Again, everything you're bombarded with on TV, it's like, be right, be right, be right. You know, this stock's going up over here. You know, a Theo Trader, we just want to be able to make what? We want to be able to make money. And that's that's ultimately the key over here. So the the area I really need to cover is Here's what you need to know, okay? You know, why, number one, why doesn't everybody go out there and do this? I'll say it for like the eighth time today because they don't know what options to trade. Entry and exit criteria to these strategies is absolutely essential. So what stocks do I do this on? It's like, what stocks do you trade this on? Do I do this? And somebody mentioned the SPX. The SPX, okay, have you looked at the SPX lately? And so I, I like to bring up individual underlines. You look at something like the SPX. Okay, this is a fun one. There's a one-day option, two-day option, a three-day option, an eight-day option, a 10-day option, a 15-day option, a 16-day option. There is a ton of options on them their options. Okay, you don't know what expiration to select, what strikes do I use, position sizing. Position sizing is the second most important thing on our list that shocks a lot of people. Okay, the correct probability to trade, well, that's actually number one. How do you execute the trade most efficiently? If you're worried about commissions, forget about commissions. If you don't execute the trade right, it's going to cost you a lot more than commissions. When do you exit the trade? Okay, what do you do with a losing position? Again, Amazon had a few thousand options. The SPX, there are tens of thousands of options okay, on that one product and that one product alone. So I, I always warn people, like, do not run out you know, and, and try this without having, again, the proper options to ultimately trade on. So we invite you to join us, okay, at our next online class, April 2nd. It's from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and that's central time, covering high probability trading with in-out spreads. So the investment in the class is 500 bucks, okay, it's well worth it. So this is actually what we're going to do in the class. Again, it's Saturday, April 2nd. That's this Saturday. It's a four-hour class. In-out spreads. You're used Okay, by a lot of different professionals for consistent returns. And it's, it's also, though, it's a huge amount, okay, is it's, an, it's to actually mitigate market conditions. And what that basically means is in-out spreads, they're used in any market condition because the in-out spreads negate volatility. 
they actually offset all volatility risk to the options trader, okay? In-out spreads, and I'm also gonna throw this out here, in-out spreads, okay, are not as time sensitive as you may think. You can go out and buy in-out spreads months out, days out, but you're gonna learn, okay, how to define your risks so when you're wrong, the losses are gonna be small when you're right, you're gonna have decent sized gains over there. These trades are easily managed as well. Easily managed, you can use good till canceled orders. So again, we do a lot of different styles of trade over there, but I like to do in-out spreads. And the reason that I put together this particular class is because you don't have to sit in front of your screen all day, okay? You can set the trades and ultimately walk away from them. And in fact, you can use what's called a good till canceled order, okay? So uh, again, good till canceled orders, it ultimately means set it, walk away. By the way, again, these trades are volatility neutral. They're volatility neutral over there. So again, these in-out spreads, they're easy to learn. Uh, we just taught you like, you know, logic of the in-out spread in seven minutes, including iron condors. In-out spreads can be done with a trading account, okay, of $2,000 or less. So the regular price for the class is, is 500 bucks. Again, it's coming up, all right? It's coming up this, again, this Saturday over here, a lot of work. Normally the class goes for 500, but we want to introduce you to Theo Trade. We invite you to attend the class on April 2nd at a discounted rate of $150. So even if you're, you know, a very small trading account, one successful in-out spread can return you many times that investment, all right? It's 150 bucks. You know, you're not going wrong for like $150, okay? I always think of the class, forget about what you're going to make. Think about some of the losses that you've taken over time in the markets over there and think about like, hey, I'm probably gonna save a lot more than $150 on the next trade ultimately that I do over here, but we can actually learn to get the class for free. So how do you guys wanna learn to uh, get the class for free, okay? By signing up for what we call Total Theo, and I'll explain Total Theo here in just a couple of moments. You can actually sign up for Total Theo for three or 12 months and we'll throw in the April 2nd high probability trading with in-out spreads class charge, okay? So by becoming what we call a Total Theo member, you're gonna receive any of our online classes, okay? And I'll describe how Total Theo works here momentarily. So during your subscription, you know, any of the classes, okay, coming up are gonna be free of charge. So Total Theo members, have daily online access to veteran traders, risk managers with over 15 years of experience. We're gonna actually teach you daily strategies professional use for consistent returns. So just come, you learn how the markets really work and how to manage your risk, okay, with following online programs all included in your Total Theo membership. And let's go ahead, let's actually explain to like, you know, like what, what's a Total Theo? So we say, welcome to Total Theo. Again, Theo Trade, okay, we do classes. As I said, we have this in-out spread class coming April 2nd, okay? You can get the in-out spread class for free if you become what we call part of Total Theo. So this is what Total Theo includes over here, and I'll just take you through it, okay? There's a web address, and you can go to the web address, and you can go check out the web address. You know, it's right here, it's theotrade.com forward slash spreads. I put it up there twice, but let me explain a little bit about what it is. So at what we call Total Theo, there's Theo Coach. It's daily coaching sessions, all right? We do topics on verticals and volatility and scalping. Today I did a session on how to prepare for a particular trading day. I've done sessions on like, you know, how to do roles, vertical roles. I mean, you're like, what is a vertical role? I do sessions extensively in futures trading, if your futures interests you. You may not have time though to look every single day. Now, there's a ton of different places you can go for education in the market. When I say a ton of different places, there's a million different education firms out there. Number one, you're probably not gonna find any other, any other education firm out there that has instructors with a minimum of 15 years of experience, okay, that has instructors that have spent, uh, again, I ran, part of the $20 billion company, the education division of it, but their coaching sessions are gonna charge you thousands of dollars. I put like $150 value on it. The coaching sessions though are archived because they happen during the day. Some people are like, I work for a living. We also, part of Total Theo is Theo Chat. So that's our traders. 
It's myself. It's Tony. We also are bringing in, and I'm going to announce it for the first time right now, okay, Doc Severson. Doc Severson officially starts at Theotrade next week. He did his first video tonight, okay. In Theo Chat, we've got a number okay, of professional traders. They provide real-time trade ideas. We trade in the chat room. It's live during market hours. It has a full video feed. You see my screen real-time market insights, and yeah, real trades. So again, other education firms, they got coaching and they charge you a couple of grand for it. Then they charge you usually what? A few hundred bucks a month for a chat room. It's included in total Theo. Then we do what we call our Theo Night Video Newsletter. That's, again, five days a week at the end of the trading day. And this is something that's you know working during the day. Check it out. You dissect the anatomy of the markets each night. I to put a $50 value on it. It's probably worth a lot more than that. Then we actually do classes. These are what we call Theo class. It's a monthly class on a host of topics. It ranges from stocks and options and futures. Okay? It's the gamut. Each class put value of about $300 on. Now, you guys know, you go to other educational venues, classes will cost you anywhere between $300 and $1,000 per class. Total Theo has classes. It has coaching sessions. In the coaching session, it's Q&A. Okay? So, by the way, it's not Doc Severinsen from The Tonight Show. See, Doc Severinsen, the options guy. He's huge in the business, and I've actually known Doc for a lot of years. He actually worked in one of my groups all the way back in 2006, 2007. So I'll continue over here. That's the classes. And again, to these educational firms, they'll charge you thousands. That's like what we want to put an end to at Theotrade is just that. It's total Theo. It's everything. We also do what we call Theo Saturday. Once per quarter, we're going to do a four-hour in-depth class. Okay, It's a $500 value on there. The class is coming this April 2nd. If you can't attend live, it's in the archives, which we get to Theo archives. You miss anything we say. Every second of every single day, if we do anything, any of the instructors is recorded. Now, it's a lot of stuff. It's overwhelming, but you can actually sift through. You can email us. You can key into specific topics that I think are pertinent for you. Okay. Next, we have what we call Theo Trade Proprietary Technical Indicators and Scanners. This part I love because every education firm out there, they're trying to sell you like they're the latest, greatest charting study, the latest, greatest charting study. Every proprietary technical indicator or scanner you can think of will just give it to you. We don't care. We have dozens of them out there, you know. So all the proprietary stuff, okay, it's, again, ain't no sacred cow at Theotrade. Then we actually do what's called Trade Tracker, which is this. My trades, Doc's trades, okay, Tony's trades, we're posting them. We're going to post all of the trades out there. Again, this is Theotrade.com forward slash spreads. Now, okay, Total Theo. So Total Theo it's available month to month. It's 150 bucks a month. But if you sign up for three months, okay, it's a total of $297. So this is total Theo for three months. Okay, it includes the high probability in and out spreads, total Theo for three months. So again, this is how you get the class ultimately for free. You sign up for total Theo for three months. Okay, we don't want you just to go to like one class and pay 150 bucks. We want you to be part, okay, of multiple classes out there, multiple coaching sessions. So total field for three months, okay, it includes May and June classes. What are the May and June classes? Oh, it's going to be a surprise, but you will not be disappointed in any class out there, okay. These May and June classes are going to be stock and options oriented. It includes the support and coaching sessions. So after you go to the high probability in out spreads class, it's also going to include all the coaching sessions thereafter. So you get Total Theo today for $297. Again, it includes the class and three months. Three months to what? Okay, To everything we just mentioned over here. And I'll go through it on the site in just a moment to kind of clarify it. So, uh, again, the $297 includes the April 2nd class over there. So, it's it's like a $950 value for $297. I'd put more value just on the high probability class ultimately alone over here. but Okay. There's also total Theo for one year. This is undoubtedly, you know, people ask, what's the difference? It's a way better deal. Okay. On total Theo for a year, uh, we're doing a little bit of a bonus for today. If you subscribe to total Theo for a year for $997, we're going to add these four 
bonus class. And the bonus class is number one, survive and thrive in extreme volatility class. That's a class, okay, that I did back in late January. What was the class designed to do? It's designed to number one, mitigate risk in the existing risk that you have. Number two, to actually show you okay, how to be most effective when volatility strikes. That's actually the first class. That is a two-hour class. Number two, sell premium and minimize risk class. This, this class is like for me, and I, I got to underline over here, this is the granddaddy of them all. Um, this is a class, I've been doing a version of it for, for like 10 years. This is probably the best by far and away version I have ever done of the sell premium minimize risk class. Okay, it is a four and a half hour class. It is intense. Okay, it talks about selling out of the money options premium, how to actually mitigate risk. For those of you that are more experienced, it does get into the Greeks. Oh, the Greeks, it's me, it's my thing. Okay. Um, again, I can't stress enough like the sell premium minimize risk because there's coaching sessions that follow this class okay, that are undoubtedly the most valuable to you if you've had some experience. Number three, iron condors. We call it iron up with iron condors class. That iron condors class, I just did it about three weeks ago. It's just over a two-hour class. It shows you how to enter into the iron condor, how to exit the iron condor, what to do to mitigate risk in those class. And class number four over here, and again, this is all included if you do total FIO for one year. Class number four here, options 101. It's the basics. I mean, if you don't know anything about options, you're going to go to sell premium, minimize risk, and go like, what, 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 what? The options 101. The basics and beyond. It's a five-part series, okay? It's a $100 value over there. So the 12 month subscription, it's an $1,800 value. And again, I think it's way more than that plus the four bonus classes equaling you know another 600 it gives you about a $2400 value for 997 i mean the way that this thing kind of breaks down you again you guys we're going to go over here for a moment and go to theotrade.com forward slash spreads you know the way i look at this is there's 252 trading days in a year i think a lot of people know that right there's 252 trading days in a year so your investment in total theo works out to $3.95 per trading day, I'm not counting weekends, per trading day to learn what has cost traders like you tens of thousands of dollars in mistakes. And that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, the way I kind of put this, uh, I'm obviously a well-caffeinated individual, but the cost of a cup of like Starbucks, like a Starbucks latte, you can have a number of 15-year veterans assisting you with your trading every day. So, you know, subscribe to it today as the cost of not being at total Theo may be hazardous to your trading account. So let's go over to the site here and go through a couple of these different options over here. So uh, again, I want to clarify this. It's theotrade.com forward slash uh, spreads. Okay, theotrade.com forward slash spreads over here. If you wanted to go to just, just, the high probability trading with in-out spreads class, okay, you're actually looking at $150, and that's fine. Some people are not ready for, for everything over there, but it's, it's not just the most basics class. Like this class, it goes from the basics, and we'll get into some decent extremes over here, but I'm telling you, with in-out spreads, you need to know this stuff, especially with volatility, you know, approaching over here. You need to know this stuff because it's first about risk mitigation, second about probability, and third, okay, about putting odds over the duration in your favor. So in-out spreads, again, they're used. This is what the, the trade that's used by so many traders over duration to mitigate risk. You'll never use a stop order over there. They're used in really any market conditions. Again, they have defined risks. They're really easily managed, okay? And you can do this with a really, really small trading account. That class is this Saturday. It's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern time over there. Listen, I'm on Pacific time. I don't mind saying this. I like waking up early. It's 7 a.m. Pacific time. But we're also going to show you specifically which stocks and indices make the best candidates. If you okay, are really into this, there's even going to be okay, a portion of the class that talks about giving you the best statistical odds in picking market direction. So I've built actually a number of studies many, many years ago. And these studies I'm actually going to share with all of you during the in-out spreads class over there, okay? So when to open these trades, when the best time to close them out, uh, again, just click add it to the card, it's $150, that's it. Now, 
let's explain a little bit about total theo because if you go and you do total theo for three months over here and what three months ultimately is it's, it's 90 days okay it includes the in out spreads class that's why i say you want to learn how to get the spreads class for free just do total theo okay total theo it's 150 bucks a month just for total theo you might as well do the you know the three month and get the high probability trading class for free but what total theo includes it's daily coaching sessions okay with uh, again the gamut of topics all right the theo night video which is every evening we're going to give you market updates over there then we also have what's called theo evening which are weekly coaching sessions so here we are on tuesday tomorrow night Okay, you can sign up right now for Total Theo. Tomorrow night, you can join us for your first coaching session. Okay, it's tomorrow. It's 7 p.m. Central Time. I do a coaching session right in TheoTrade. Like, you don't have to log on to, like, go to webinar. We do it in TheoTrade. We have slick technology over there. Okay, we are not, you know, the run-of-the-mill education company out there. Again, I worked for thinkorswim td ameritrade which is a 20 billion dollar company i know a little bit about technology we built a pretty spectacular site i think you guys are really going to enjoy it okay moving on here in terms of total theo we also have again the monthly classes well if you sign up for total theo there's still three months membership <laughs> that's going to give you three different classes in there okay the whole thing is only 297 dollars okay then we also have of course the in-depth Saturday class, that's coming. It's coming. That's April 2nd. If you can't be there April 2nd, I've got plans. So do I. My plan is to teach that class. But the Theo archives are in there. So the moment the class ends, we don't wait to archive anything. It instantaneously archives seconds after the class. You can rewind it. We actually use technology that has a DVR. It's a digital video recorder built in. Add it to the cart for $297. The best deal that we've got going in here is 12 months of total Theo. That is everything we just discussed again. It has the coaching, it has the nightly newsletter, it has the evening coaching sessions, which is on Wednesday. Why do we do that? Because some people work for a living. You know, and even if you can't catch the evening sessions, they said, you know, nothing's instant coffee, instant tea. You gotta put forth a little bit of effort to do this, right? And that's it's taking a little bit of time, a couple hours a week. We have the chat room, but if you don't have all day to sit in front of the chat room, that's fine. Okay? You can go to some of the classes, just the classes, okay? The daily videos and the Wednesday night sessions are beyond worth it. If you want to check out the archives and look at everything, fantastic. But the 997 for a year, it also includes Survive and Thrive and Extreme Volatility class, the Sell Premium. And again, I, I urge you that other educational venues, they're going to charge you 300 500 or a thousand dollars per class okay uh at theo trade we're going out to the masses here okay and we've actually got quite a bit of backing to do so and we're actually going to include again options one the iron condors class the sell premium class survive and thrive and volatility it's all part of it just click add it to cart, it's 997 over there. Okay, there's a lot of questions that are coming up over here. Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash spreads. I am gonna go in here and answer a couple of the questions. Um, ah, number one question. This a lot of people have this. If we get the $295 total Theo, which includes the class, and we want to then upgrade to the yearly. Okay, so let's say you sign up for three months and you really, really like it after a week after a month after two months and then you want to upgrade to the year can you actually do that and the answer is absolutely okay absolutely if you want to upgrade you know to it you know i'm not going to i'm not going to hold that against you of course you know i signed up for 297 i want to sign up for a year fine we'll honor the 997 in there i think that's that's fair over there so you know recognize like you guys are going to be shocked okay the first time you go into Theo Trade, you're going to be shocked how much is in the archive. Do not let this stuff intimidate you. Okay, you're going to feel like you're on the wrong end of a fire hose initially. Within three months, okay, you're going to be asking us questions that we're going to be shocked and be like, "Whoa, man, how'd you how'd you learn so much over there?" You do not, okay, have to be on TD Ameritrade 
that's fine. Yeah, I had a relationship with them, but we've actually got a relationship now with a number, okay, of brokerage firms out there. So I like this one. When you work all day, what features of Total Theo work best, okay, you know, for a full-time worker over here? So that's a question, and this one comes from Bob. So that's a question that comes up all the time. It's like, you know, I'm working all day over here. There's a few things. Number one, okay, the trades that we do during the chat room sessions every day, we don't post the intraday stuff. Like if I'm trading in and out, in and out, in and out, you know, this is not like day trading craziness over here. Most of the positions that we do are very structured, very timely. You can look at those positions at night, duplicate them the next day, it'll still be there. Nothing I do is like, got to do it now, got to get in, got to get out, okay? And we talk about those also in the evening video. So if time is always going to be a constraint, Here's a few things that I'll express to you. Number one, you got to go to the classes because the classes, they're like once a month. That's not going to kill you to go to the class like once a month. Number two, I kind of suggest you do every Wednesday coaching session. The coaching session, it's not just me like yada, 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 okay? We take lots of questions, but every Wednesday I have a very definitive topic set up. So we do the topic for about 45 minutes, then we take questions. So it's like a class every single Wednesday. What differs though, and the reason I call it a little bit more coaching session, during that hour period, not only do we take questions, but we take your trades and we bounce them around. So if you're somebody that works a lot, you're like, hey, listen, I'm thinking about doing this trade or I have this trade on. The number one question I got, I'm in a really crappy trade. What do I do? Okay. We've done four coaching sessions recently on what do I do if. Okay. So that's a question that comes up. Um, okay. <clears throat> if we upgrade to the 12-month program, this is from Chuck, do we get the credit for the three-month purchase? Sure, absolutely. Okay, I no problem with that. Um, somebody said, do you discuss strategies for trading futures? Okay, yes, we do. We actually have a uh, Tony, our kind of renowned futures trader, in the chat room every day. Now, he does trade in and out a lot during the day. I think you guys will be very, very impressed. So. If you just do the $150 course, okay, do you get the recording set? So the recording is archived. So the recording is, is archived for you. So what you do is just access our site and just, you know, boom, stream it over there, okay? Streaming it is, is good stuff. Tony Rago, it's R-A-G-O, Tony Rago, that's, uh, that's his last name over there. So, uh, and Tony, I got to tell you, guy's a stud. I mean... He's he's excellent trader. I think you guys will really, really appreciate this. So most of the stuff, okay, that I do, again, people ask, like, is it on Thinkorswim? Okay, well, you know, yeah, all right. So I know Thinkorswim fairly well. I was there from like day one, but I'm I'm becoming broker agnostic. It's a hard thing to say after 15 years. Okay. Um, great question in here. If we mess up a trade, how will we get some help? Number one, you can email us. And people are shocked. Hey, email us. I don't care. I'll answer the emails. All right. On a given day, I answer, okay, 30, 40 emails. But as a firm, we answer a few hundred emails already on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not a problem whatsoever. I mean, we're staffed up for it. We can answer emails. But number two, if you actually have the time, you know what the best place to ask questions is? It's in the chat room. Because in the chat room, instead of just answering it verbally, I'll actually show you. You know, that's when I, I go into the chat room and I'm like, okay, you're in this trade and I'll actually map it out a little bit for you, okay? That stuff, it's important. Oh, there's another uh, question that came up here specifically about this. Again, the $297, okay? Again, how does it differ from the 997 over here? These two differ for one reason. At 997, we include an additional four classes, okay? And it's four classes. Uh, they're they're ready to go. You want to sign up for it right now. You know, hey, make it a late night. Listen to a couple of the classes over there. No problem. Okay, it'll take you a few minutes. I mean, the hardest thing we'll do is to click add cart and then you will send you the password over there. It'll take, you know, ooh, 10 minutes before you'll actually get that back when we do all the uh, security. Okay, check on it. So, um, uh, again, can we sign up uh, for just... Okay, this or just that. Well, yeah, if you sign up just for the high probability in-out class, absolutely, it's $150, okay? And then, again, I'm a big fan of the Total Theo because the way that myself and our partners built Theo Trade, 
is to put an end to this whole like a la carte education thing where you're like, I have to buy this and I have to buy this. I want everybody to know, okay? All we have is Total Theo. We do classes every month, but Total Theo is it. Whether it's indicators, whether it's a chat room, okay, whether it's a nightly video, whether it's the coaching sessions, it's included. Like once you're in Total Theo, no upsell, there's nothing to sell you. That's it. It's $9.97 for the entire year. And that's what's so important about this. Like you know what the cost is going to be. What did I say? It was like buying a, a cup of Starbucks over there. And you could buy me a cup of Starbucks. And in fact, if everybody buys me a cup of Starbucks every day, I will be just as caffeinated as I am right now. So it's theotrade.com forward slash spreads over there. All right. Uh, by the way, if you're in Australia, okay, and you, and you can't get TD Ameritrade, don't you worry about it, okay? We got a firm that we're going to hook you up with down there. Uh, and again, after you sign up, after you sign up, for total Theo, okay? Whether it's the three month or the 12 month, after you sign up for total Theo, email us, okay? And we will discuss the commission rates, okay? And where we actually feel are some of the most appropriate places to ultimately trade and where we ultimately have the best deal for. So, um, all right. Oh, somebody asked a great question too. If you're gonna renew, so after you sign up for a year at 997, okay? Here's the deal. You sign up for a year. If you want to renew for an additional year, we're actually going to keep it the same price at 997. So we kind of call it like a grandfather clause. You're grandfathered in at 997. So easy enough over there. Um, where are the where the bonus classes offered? Okay, uh, done outside the regular theo pro, uh, program over here. So these classes, okay, these classes. Survive and Thrive was done in January. Sell Premium was actually done in February. Iron Up was done in March. Okay, this Options 101, it's next week. It's next week over there. It hasn't happened yet, uh, as well as, okay, neither has uh, the high probability trading with in-out spreads. Both of those classes, so we have a number of instructors here, okay? Both these classes I'm doing. Uh, and I'm doing them because, you know, it's, it's not just about, oh, I was one of the co-founders of Theo Trade. I like doing this. Uh, you know, in 2007, when we took Thinkorswim public, you know, I made a decision at that point in my life. Uh, in 2007, I go, I'm going to do this, and we're going to have fun. So do you try to make the classes a little bit of fun, you know? And uh, I think you guys will really enjoy not only what we do with the high probability in-out spreads class, but we're going to do a total Theo and the 12-month class over there. So anyway, with that, I know there's a couple more questions in here. Um, by the way, we do we have classes on using the TOS options platform? So yes, there are videos on TheoTrade of how to maximize the use of the Thinkorswim trading application. Okay, why did I put them there? Because I know Thinkorswim really, really well. I mean, I know the people at, at TD Ameritrade know Thinkorswim really, really well, but I kind of put what I call the Don Kaufman TheoTrade spin on how to actually use Thinkorswim over there. So I think you guys, again, will appreciate that. Um, so if you sign up for, you're an existing TD Ameritrade customer, if you sign up for TheoTrade, will you still get the commission rate? Absolutely, okay? Listen, the commission rate that we have for TD Ameritrade, it's for everybody that has a TD Ameritrade account. If you don't have a TD Ameritrade account, we'll give you the link to get a TD Ameritrade account. So just so you guys know, one of the reasons you know, how can we do all this at 997? Because we're subsidized by the brokerage firms. The brokerage firms, they don't do that with other education firms. Okay, the brokerage firms love us. We teach people how to do this the right way to do this. Okay, we want to build clients for life. We don't want just somebody that comes in and signs up for one class. We want to build you guys as clients for life out there. So with that, I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. I know I ran just about 15 minutes over. I got started about a minute or two late over here. So again, this is Don Kaufman. Uh, I will see everybody at the high probability trading class. Okay. If you want, I'll see you tomorrow in the chat room. You can log in total Theo tomorrow to the chat room live or the Wednesday night coaching session. Thanks a lot, everybody. This is uh, Don Kaufman kind of signing off over here. See you in the class soon.